In this video, I'm gonna talk about three video making trends that can possibly rule 2023. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicomber and the biggest impact this year on video making has been without a doubt the appearance of AI tools like ChatGPT or Midjourney. And I especially want to emphasize ChatGPT which seems to be conquering the entire internet if not the entire world. We recently made a video about how you can use AI tools to make videos that you can check out right over here and already in that one I talked about how ChatGPT can make your video making workflow much faster. In my opinion, when it comes to video making, the best way to utilize ChatGPT is to help you write video outlines or video scripts based on your topic. Using it for keyword research or getting title ideas can A, make your video workflow much faster like I mentioned before and B, it will make your video actually much more relevant to what people look for on the internet. And if this is your first time hearing about ChatGPT or AI tools in general, which I doubt, but if it is, then search for them on YouTube or in Google and you'll see how much content is being made every day about this topic or about these tools. So they're definitely something that's worth incorporating into your video making workflow. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to make videos with no talking or music whatsoever. More like creating content where visuals have more importance over audio. So you tell the story with the pictures like in the art world of filmmaking or you use captions and subtitles to make the viewer understand what the video is about. So when they're scrolling through Instagram or TikTok while they're at work or still in bed with their partner sleeping next to them and obviously don't want to wake them up, they can watch the video and understand the video even without the audio. I think this trend of video making has always been there and has been growing slowly over the years. But now with short form videos taking over popularity, this way of video making has become more relevant than ever. Now of course, subtitles is something that people hate doing, I think it's the most disgusting thing in the world. But the good news is that with auto subtitles tools such as the one in the Uniconverter, making subtitles with unique designs is easier than ever. So if you've been searching for an auto subtitle tool, don't look further. Here's a video about the subtitle tool of the Uniconverter. Additionally, TikTok, for example, has its own auto caption tool, but it's only available in certain regions. So for many years, the goal of content creators was to create videos that are perfect in all terms. Shot on expensive cameras, edited to the smallest details with lots of transitions and effects because that was what it meant to be pro. But today, and let me know if you don't agree with this, but the majority of the videos that we watch are literally made on a smartphone and we watch them on a smartphone. We want something else than immaculate videos. We want raw content, we want content about real life and we want to be able to connect to the creator with all their flaws. I mean, in the end, it's always the message in a video that's important and you don't need a fancy camera or crazy editing to tell it. Now, obviously, messiness and imperfection is not the same as trash content. And I think you still need to have standards when it comes to making videos. So obviously you can't upload a video where you're talking and the, and the camera is shaking like this. So while you're making a video or when you're planning on making a video, think of how you can make that video unique to you. In what way can you show your personality even more? What makes you interesting? We humans are full of flaws and imperfections. So why would the videos that we make that represents us have to be perfect? What do you think about this topic and if you're a content creator, how do you make your videos more personal? Let us know in the comment section below and let's have a chat. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more content related to video making. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.